सेकंड हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू 19 पार्ट ऑफ द ऑडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल द ब्राइटनेस ऑफ द एलईडी यूजिंग अ पोटेंशियोमीटर बिफोर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड रेकमेंड यू टू वॉच माय प्रीवियस टू ट्यूटोरियल्स वन इज ऑन पोटेंशियोमीटर एंड अनदर वन इज ऑन पीडब्ल्यूएम कांसेप्ट बिकॉज़ दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन द पीडब्ल्यूएम फॉर दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू नीड फॉलोइंग components you require one potentiometer of any resistance value i am using 10 kilo ohm one led bulb and an arduino uno board so coming to connections so led i am connecting it to pin 11 this is a pwm pin and potentiometer signal pin i am connecting to analog pin 0 a0 So for circuit diagram, you can refer the link in the description box. So coming to the programming part, here I have connected LED to pin 11. So I'll give it as LED equal to 11 and potentiometer to A0. I'll give pot A0. So here LED is an output device will make it as output pot is input device coming to the loop first we have to read the values from the potentiometer which is analog so we have to use analog read function this I have completely explained in my potentiometer tutorial video you can get the link in the description box So from the pin A0, we are getting the potentiometer values. So whatever the values we are getting from this function, we'll store it in some variable. I'll give the name as x. So also we'll declare here. So this x is storing the values that is coming from the potentiometer up to this one it's completely basics and now we need few things to understand before proceeding to next part so i'll show that here so the potentiometer value output ranges from 0 to 1023 so what output range is from 0 to 1023 so this is what you get from the potentiometer but as i have explained in my previous pwm tutorial in arduino the pwm duty cycle ranges from 0 to 255 so i'll mention that also here which is from 0 to 255 so this is the value we are getting when we rotate the potentiometer and the PWM function supports only 0 to 255. So now we have to map this set of values to this. In Arduino, there is an inbuilt map function. So I'll show you the syntax. So it is map of all small letters map. So here five arguments we have to provide to this function. The first one will be the variable which is storing the input range. So here from the pot we are getting this values. Just for example, take it we are storing the pot value into x. So we have to mention that variable. So x. In the input the first value will be 0 and the last value is 1023. So this is the input ranging from 0 to 1023. And what we are expecting is 0 to 255 that you have to mention here it's 0 to 255 so now this function 
maps the value that is stored in x 0 to 1 0 2 3 to 0 to 255 so from this function we'll get the expected range that is 0 to 255 which we can easily use in analog write function for pwm so now we'll proceed with the code so we'll use the map function here map so the input range of values we are storing in x so i'll give it as x the x is starting from 0 and ends with 1023 and the expected range of values is 0 to 255 the output of this map function will store it in another variable i'll give it as y and we'll also declare here now you can use analog write function we are writing the led pin so led comma here the duty cycle will be y so as you rotate the pot that pot values will be stored here and using this function that value is matched to the corresponding value in the range 0 to 255 so that is we are storing in y so y we are passing to this analog write function so for that particular value of y we get the corresponding brightness of the led so this is the code now we'll upload and we'll see how it works so as we can see if i rotate the potentiometer the brightness of the led is changing So this is all about this tutorial. I hope you guys understood. If you have any doubts, you can ask us in the comment box below. And also for more tutorials, subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching guys. We'll see you again in the next one.